Welcome to another Digital Lifestyle at Camp Video Show. On this video, we're going to be looking at the new Air Mouse Go Plus. The, this is the from Gyration. This is the new uh, motion detecting uh, mouse. Mainly used, I guess, this is aimed at sort of for doing perhaps uh, presentations and, and that kind of thing, or just a mouse, but also good for home theatre use because you can operate. Uh, windows with uh, the mouse and you put it on a big screen TV and you don't need a flat surface for it. So I thought what we'll do is I'm going to uh, have a look in the box, see what's in, uh, what it's got inside it and then I'm going to connect it up uh, to uh, a laptop which is connected up to my TV and we'll, we'll see how I can operate it. So first thing to do, let's have a look what's in the box. Included in the box we have A USB uh, receiver for the for the mouse, which you kind of uh, pair up through the uh, connect button. We have a charging station, and then the actual mouse itself. It's got an optical sensor on there, so you can use it as a normal desktop mouse. We've got uh, we made two buttons, three additional buttons clicking scroll wheel and uh, this extra uh, gyration uh, button which I'll show you in a minute. So also in the box included is a charge charger and there are uh, rechargeable batteries in this which obviously works with the charger. So you've got the cradle like that that just fits on there like that and that's your mouse charging up when you want to use it pick it up and away you go. Also included in the box are uh, some CDs with drivers and things like that on it. So now I, I tested this before. I didn't need the drivers; it worked anyway. But I th think the uh, gyration software gives you some extra extra features uh, with the remote control. So we've got a user guide and the installation CD. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it up without any drivers and just see how it operates out of the box and then we'll have a look at the drivers. Okay, so I've got the my laptop hooked up to the TV and we've got the remote, I'll stand out of the way, and you see you pull this trigger here and as you pull this trigger it activates the mouse and then you can see, actually you see that the pointer there, I've got a bit of overscan on this so I can go and see. So what you do, you hold down the trigger for it to enable the move. If you don't have the trigger held down, it doesn't move. You hold down the trigger um, and then you can just click with the mouse button. So it's, as far as Windows is concerned, it's a normal, it's just a normal mouse and I can do the usual. I can right click and so on. So from a home theatre you can sit on the sofa, you can use this machine, use this mouse, no problem at all. You don't need a flat surface. You don't need a lot of movement either if I can show you. Um, you see there's not a huge amount of movement that you need for that to work. So out of the box We've just got this working, no drivers installed, I can use this and of course um, now there's nothing to stop me using it in Windows Media Center. So I've just uh, stuck the CD in, so let's um, run that and see what these tools enable us to do. Now when I've used the gyration remotes before, they seem to they have, ah oh, this is it, um, so I can customise that. So these extra buttons which I was mentioning here, I can uh, customise those. But there's also uh, swipes, so let's... Uh, so you've got shake gestures. We've got up and down. I guess shake like that, shake like that. And we've got... So it looks like if you hold down this it looks like if you hold down this button here and then go alright ah, so this center button here 
is the trigger button. So if you hold that down and go that way, that's mail, that's just PowerPoint, and you can customize what else we can do with this. So the applet is that one, I think. So all the options we've got on here, so we've got Windows, Options, Media Center. Uh, so I think what we can do is, uh, this is Media Center Home, and I think we can drag that and say we want that there. And play button can go up and down. And let's do pause left to right. Okay, so let's see what that does now. So if I do the center button and then up, it's load media center. And then if I go Let's see, I'm not sure what's on this machine, let's have a look. So let's load a track. So let's play some music, and I think we set it up, so if I shake it from left to right it should pause it. There we go. Now if I shake it up and down, so let me show you that on the screen. So hold down the trigger button. That pauses it. Hold down the trigger button. There we go. So that kind of a gesture control system. And let's say we could have in, we could have had, um, other options on these navigation buttons. So we've got home, and I could have set any of these others. I quite like the uh, I see so we've got it into some highlighting mode. So you're doing your presentation, you're doing highlighting. I do like this pause and resume mode. I suppose it's a, bit, a little bit geeky, but uh, it's fun while the novelty's there. So let's just have a quick look at what else we can do with this. So we've got hotspots, we've got um, other events we can create. Um, so it's pretty So it's, quite, it's pretty rich, really. Like I said, we can have internet options. So like I've got the, the swipes set for, uh, for the music but we could have the swipe set for the back button so that when you swipe it goes back in Internet Explorer which you can see it's actually flashing down here so let's uh, pick a web page okay and then left to right and there it goes back. So you can see with this, uh, it's a handy little remote. I do like the uh, the play and the pause option on shaking. But really, the, the main thing, it, it is a proper mouse. You know, it's got a proper uh, optical sensor on it on there, so you can use it as a desktop mouse just as normal. Then you can pick it up, and you've got the trigger, and then you've got the move, the mouse movement on it. So if it's a home theater PC and you've not got your key, you, you know, not got flat surface of the mouse, it's ideal. Great if you do presentation, PowerPoint presentation. You know, it's. Uh, it looks pretty flashy. So, so that's the Air Mouse Go Plus gyration with motion sensor. Uh, all the details, prices, and things like that link in the show notes. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next video on the Lifestyle.com.